Hello everybody and welcome to race number 12 of the season here at Las Vegas. Boy, you're going to have quite a show that's going to go on here. So let's get on down to your starting lineup here for this race. On the pole, we have Skylar Dixon next to him. Levi McIntyre, third. Jack Mitchell, fourth. Benny Watson, fifth. Na Nicholas Wade, sixth. Diego Yepes, seventh. RJ Bishop, eighth. Kyle Keith, ninth. James Qualls, clean the top ten. Sky Commons. Here's just your starting lineup from 11th on back. And on the final row, we have Jonathan Zorlin and Zachary Fitzwater. So looking at your points coming into this race, Rob Evans is a five-point lead over Preston Floyd. Then you have third in points, Dylan Poteet. Separated by 20 points between both those drivers. 33 back from the points leader. Then you got James Qualls in fourth. Joshua Sicoli fifth. Jessica Shelton sixth. Trent Dunham seventh. Carter Friesen eighth. William Brock ninth. And Zachary Fitz, where he knows who started dead last. He'll start in the 10th spot. And it's going to be quite a challenge for him. And then, ironic enough, 11th place is tied between Sebastian Kukulon and Zach Winkle. So it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to play out here with these drivers. Las Vegas is a very well-known speedway. It's going to be a lot of three-wide racing that's going to come on by. Very tight, very competitive. So let's go down trackside and get the command to fire them engines. Drivers, start your engines. And there's the command that's been given. We're about ready to get the cars going. And there they are all go. One car did not get going. And it's Dylan Potsy. That's third in the points in the Caterpillar Dodge. That is a tough blow right there for Dylan Potsy. Probably not what he needed at all. The Season 5 Intercell Universal Orlando Cup Series champion. With issues, but we're about ready to take the green flag here. Skylar Dixon, Levi McIntyre, they're going to take us to the green flag here at Las Vegas. Let's roll. Oh, and one car did not get going. I think that was James Qualls in the 19. Someone did get going. I don't know. They have the cautions out. I don't know what's going on. Oh, we do have a wreck. It's the 88. It's William Brock. Is the caution out? I, I think the caution's out. Yes, it is. Well, talk about strange starts to the race. But look at this. The Kmart cars are one and two coming to the line. These guys better slow down heading into turn one. because Oh, they're coming in hot. Oh, no. They're going. Oh, no. Oh, look out, guys. Woo! That ain't pretty. They're trying to figure out where they are in line. And they just got lapped. I don't know what is going on. I, I think the keyword think. Yeah, 31st is Matthews. 32nd is Seth Cole. He's trying to get around Skylar Dixon. He'll do so. Ember Ross trying to get around. Dixon, I think, was trying to make an indication. Come down pit road. I don't know what the case is. I don't know. I'm confused. But you know, the drivers are coming down. No, I, I guess not. I thought they are coming down pit road on lap two. But one car is, though. That is John. Or not. I'm thinking Johnson. William Brock. He's got front end and rear damage. I am curious to know what happened to the 88. But what a lucky break for Dylan Pozzi, unless did he retire? Let's actually see. Oh my god, Dylan Pozzi, it's out of the race. Wow. Third in the points. Could not get the car going. And will start in park. And we'll finish dead last in this race. That is going to be a huge blow to the 22 team. So now you see everyone else They're trying to get back up to the leaders. And now that they will, caution's out. Very oddly on lap one. Let's look what happened to William Brock. Well, you're watching this at full time. Watch William Brock. Was not paying attention when the green flag came out. Got into Jonathan Zorlin. Into Johnny Gardner. There's William Brock. Mike Becker, his teammate, got involved. And I don't know what William Brock was thinking. That was just not a good move. And he immediately brought out the caution. The caution's out. Take it back to the green. 
Well, welcome back. We've seen that uh, William Brock's on pit road and off the air. Mike Becker, his teammate, went also down on the pit road. So, interesting enough. Only one driver's been out of the race so far. It's Dylan Pozzi. Brock is a lap down 41st. So here's rest your starting lineup. Skylar Dixon in the lead. Nicholas Wade second. Benny Watson third. Jack Mitchell fourth. Levi McIntyre fifth. Diego Yepes sixth. Seventh, RJ Bishop. Eighth, Kyle Keith. Ninth, James Qualls. We in the top ten. Sky Commons. Forgot to mention Sky Commons. This is his home track of Las Vegas. So we're about to take the green flag yet again here. We're back underway here at Las Vegas. Oh, and Jack Mitchell, Diego Yepes, they're going to pay the price being stuck behind the 88. And Bishop and Keith, very smart. They're going around via the high line. Now Mitchell and Yepes are going to break free. James Qualls, Sky Commons, and others are going to follow suit. Now you got drivers like Zach Winkle, Joshua Sicoli, Carter Friesen, and more. Going to be stuck on the high line. And look at this three wide. Yikes. Orman made a little bit of contact. And wow, Sicoli right to Winkle. And they're going to wreck because of the lap car. Freezing hard into the wall. Johnny Gardner, Sebastian Kukula, Mike Becker. Zorlet is flipping in the 27. Sliding on his roof down the back straight, heading in the three, and will be upside down. Caution will come out yet again. And Dixon leads him down. Just not a lot of smart moves. And Johnny Gardner yet again. Another piece of involvement he gets into. But I don't know what Winkle and Orman were thinking. But that was just absolutely horrible. Horrible amount of driving. And what's worse is that that 88 car is going to continue to be a nuisance. Until that car DNFs. And there's Winkle exiting pit, or uh, at least coming down pit road. That was 10th in the points, keep in mind, and they're going to pair that car. Dri leaders are not coming down pit road. Dixon leads yet again. Let's see what happened. Well, you can see from Nathan Ormus, Sicoli and Winkle, they're just trying to get around the 88, and you could see the three was just trying to go underneath and just didn't see the 31 right there. Both the RCR cars, and then Orman just goes into him, and both go the 3 and the 31, the pair of RCRs. There's Carter Friesen getting the piece. Philip Goldberg just barely avoids that one. Matthew sideswipes the 97, which then sends the 97 off the 29. And look at this shot. Wow. Takes a hard lick to the wall. Johnny Gardner, nowhere to go. Spash Kukulon, nowhere to go. And then you're going to see Mike Becker in the rear just flying on in. No breaks. Plows into the 27. Gets another hit from the 6. And just tips over the Duke Mayonnaise Pontiac. And he just goes on his roof throughout most of the back straight of Las Vegas. The Nellis straightaway to be exact. That's what brought ourselves our second caution today here at Las Vegas. Just a lot of dumb moves by a lot of drivers there. Dixon leads. Let's take it back to the green. Well, welcome back. You have not missed much. Dixon has been very lucky at these cautions. They've been his best friend. Out of the race after that last accident include the following Mike Becker. Jonathan Zorlin, Carl Friesen, Joshua Sicoli, and Sebastian Kukulon. Now to make things worse, now you got two slow damage cars. And I guarantee the AD it's probably going to be way more off the pace. 34 cars on the lead lap, 36 on the track. Let's get your top 10 rundown here. Dixon leads. Benny Watson second. Third, Levi McIntyre. Nicholas Wade fell back to fourth. RJ Bishop fifth. Kyle Keefe sixth. Jack Mitchell seventh. Sky Commons eighth. Charles Sanford ninth. Completing the top 10, James Qualls. It's going to be good for the 19 to the fact that Dylan Pozzi DNF right off the bat. So he's going to really gain that position to get closer for that points lead there. Green flag, though, back underway for Skylar Dixon. And these drivers are smart. They're just wanting to go to the high line. Just avoid Winkle and William Brock. And Commons had a little bit of problems trying to get around Winkle. And now the 40 may pay the price because he's going to go to the high line. Has to deal with William Brock. Now I'm going to try to do a crossover and will do so. Now you see drivers like Kev Shearer, Jesse Turner, and the 45 of Andrew Miller trying to do the same thing. Even the one of Trent Dunham. But now people are having more problems with Zach Winkle than William Brock. So, yeah. I thought the three was going to be not more off the pace. And I guess I got proved wrong. You can see now 
Bang Crouch to the 25, just fly on the high line. You can see these lap cars are dealing with many issues. Now Crouch doing a crossover. Tristan Fulks may do the same thing. Yes, he will. Al is going to do the same thing. And man, that three car just being a nuisance on that inside line. Charles Sanford. Oh, we got a spin on the front straight. Caution's out. It's Levi McIntyre. Oh, look out. They're going to plow into McIntyre. Preston Plord, second of the points. Seth Cole. And Caution will come out. Plord, second in the points, got involved. Left side and front end damage. And Caution once out again. Skylar Dixon. Got to leave them down. I don't know what the pace car is doing. <laughs> Got to almost went the wrong direction. He almost followed the leaders on now pit road. And Dixon. Not a good camera angle for coming down pit road. At least you could see the who wins off. But we're going to go to the spectator camera angle here. To show you Skylar Dixon, your pole sitter. Coming on down. A couple drivers staying on out. I see the seven. Jack Halleck and the 33 of Benjamin Miles. They're going to stay on out for the for this race. So, you see some more cars staying out. I'm curious to know why they're doing that. I've seen uh, Fitzwater and Young, it looks like. Trent Dunham is one of the cars that was just way behind the leader. So, I don't think he's going to be have too much worry. RJ Bishop's going to beat Skylar Dixon off pit road, however. Look at Jesse Turner. Get some benefit there from that pit stop. James Qualls, give him credit, though. He didn't get involved in the accident, so I don't think he'll be too bad. Or Trent Dunham looks like he may have... Uh, oh, wow, he may have had a two-tire stop. I'm, I'm not too sure. Drivers stayed out. They include Benjamin Miles, Jack Halleck, Rob Evans, the points leader, Nathan Orman, who's got damage, Philip Goldberg, Dylan Young and Zachary Fitzwater. Trent Dunham let him off pit stops. Cautions out. Miles leads him down. Let's look what happened. Well, I don't believe this here. This was a battle for the top five as they were behind the leader. This looks like a battle for fourth between Keith, McIntyre, Mitchell, and Watson. Watson's just going to clip the 99. Goes right into Kyle Keith, into Nicholas Wade. And Wade does a little bit of a slide. He gets the wall with the rear. And then hits it with the rear again. Then McIntyre is going to get involved. Wade keeps the car going. So that's why they're doing extensive work on the 66. Now McIntyre, because he slid and crossed the line, he's trying to get that car refired up. You can see he crossed the line at 6. There's Commas, there's Shearer, and others. Just trying to go low and avoid. They were by themselves. But then you got this big gaggle of cars all hanging around there, like Jack Halleck and others. And you know it's just not going to be well. McIntyre's not even going 100 miles an hour. He's... Barely reaching 70. You see drivers like William Brock, Jack Halleck on the high line. Brock just plows into the 99. Halleck gets a small piece. Preston Plord, nowhere to go. Seth Cole gets a little piece of Levi McIntyre right there. Adam Garcia spins around. Phil Goldberg spins around. Oh, James Qual slid. Okay, actually, let's see this part right here. What, what happened here? Oh, they just wadded up really bad over here. Let's just see how the rear of the field just goes around. So that's Charles Samp right there. There's Plord in the 20. The 20 gets involved right there. Oh, he just slid right in front of James Qualls. I don't really think the 19 got involved, really. 29, he goes around. There's the 18 spinning out. So I think they had to make sure the 19 was okay. Just make sure if it wasn't got any damage. But I don't... It doesn't look like he did, so... I think Qualls dodged a bullet right there. Caution's out. Let's take it back to the green. Well, interesting decisions for pit stops here. Miles, as well as a bunch of others, stayed out on the course. I, uh, they include the drivers in the top seven that stayed out. Drivers out of the race after that accident include the following of William Brock and Preston Plour. That is a big blow to him, and that's going to help Rob Evans, especially who is currently third on the track. Plour not having two good runs in a row. That's really going to hurt him. Zach Winkle still lap down in 34th. So he's going to play a factor for sure. Lap 17 to 41. About ready to be lap 18. Top 10 rundown is Benjamin Miles, Jack Halleck, Rob Evans, Nathan Orman, Phil Goldberg, Dylan Young, Zachary Fitzwater. They all stayed out. Trent Dunham was leader of pit stops. Uh, RJ Bishop and Skylar Dixon complete your top 10. Green flag back underway. 
and immediately they're going around the three. And Goldberg, I don't know what he thought right there. Wow, and just about all those drivers right there checked up, and Bishop nearly getting turned. Dunham trying to fly via the high line. Save it to 45 of Andrew Miller in the 24 of Seth Cole. It just barely does so. But JT Bryant, oh, he's going to get dumped. And in Embaras. Oh, and there's definitely the caution. Johnny Gardner, JT Bryant, Jessica Shelton, Embaras, and James Qualls got in it this time. Couldn't avoid it all. And drivers went down pit road. What? Whoa, I, I, drivers came down pit road as it closed. So they're probably going to get a, a penalty for that. I also noticed too, Jack Halleck, he's got, a, if you can see carefully, that car's got a little bump on the front. Oh man, those leaders, they got to get out of there. Andrew Miller realizes that, same for Sky Commons. Yeah, all these drivers, they're trying to get on out so they don't get trapped a lap down, with the exception of Winkle. Jesse Turner was one of them. Tristan Folks, Andrew Miller, Sky Commons, Ben Crouch, Vince Almarego, Kev Shears, Skylar Dixon, Trent Dunham. They were all they were the drivers that went down pit road. I'm still curious to why. Garcia just went down. Same for Zach Winkle. And cautions out yet again here on lap 20 of 41. Leader is Benjamin Miles. Those lap cars, they are not playing nice here. Let's take a look what happened. You can see right there, JT Bryant's trying to go on the high line. Winkle just not playing nice today at all. Him and William Brock have been causing issues. You see right there, goes into the Miller Light Ford, into the M&M's Pontiac. Kyle Keith also got a small piece because of the checkup. Kyle Matthews as well. Then you're going to see Johnny Gardner get involved. Matthews, Nicholas Wade got a small piece but kept it together. Kyle Keith takes a small spin going into Jesse Turner. There's Gardner, there's James Qualls, Charles Sanford, Jessica Shelton. Look at Keith in the 93. He actually kept it together thanks to the 96. Yeah, I don't know why Adam Garcia went down pit road. I didn't even see him get involved. James Qualls went about voiding the entire Rex and unfortunately gets involved this time. It's getting a little wrecky. Benjamin Miles leads. Take it back to the green. Well, the good news for these drivers, there's no lap cars. Bad news, there's still Jack Alec. That's fourth. That's damage. Out of the race after that includes Zach Winkle in the three, Jessica Sheldon in the nine, and Ember Ross in the 36, all out of the race. So 31 cars remain on the track. Benjamin Miles, he's been joining cruise control. He's out in front. Rob Evans, enjoy his points momentum. This is really going to be big for him in the battle for the championship. He's second. Third, Nathan Orman. Fourth, Jack Halleck. Fifth, Dylan Young. Sixth, Zachary Fitzwater. Seventh, Seth Cole. Eighth, Philip Goldberg. Ninth, RJ Bishop. Play top ten, Jack Mitchell. Great run for that 0-1 team. They really need it. Green flag, back underway here in Las Vegas. A lot of eyes will definitely be on Jack Halleck because you notice carefully that seven car has a little bump on the front of the hood. Also, just scraped the wall, too. I wasn't paying attention. And already getting passed by Dylan Young and Philip Goldberg. And you can see because of how his speed is. Yeah, he's, he's off the pace, you could tell. Actually holding up a little bit of Zachary Fitzwater and uh, RJ Bishop in the 77 and 32. Kyle Keith in the 93 keeping his car together. Same with TJ Hanley. There's way amount of cars. All about oh, there's drivers went down pit road again. And it's the same drivers. I don't know why. It's very curious. And three wide for second between or between Orman, Young, and Goldberg. I don't know if they got a pit road glitch. I'm not too sure, but. Whatever it is, they're coming down pit road and they're doing service. Meanwhile, it is all Rob Evans, which that is not good for Preston Plourd and others. He just led a lap and that is really going to make a big impact in the points battle for sure. First and, or excuse me, second, third in the points have gotten involved in Rex. That's all you need to say about that. <laughs> Evans, though, continuing with a Sunday drive. Here comes Jack Mitchell and R.J. Bishop. And here comes Seth Cole trying to win his third race of the year. It's Kev Shearer emerging back on the track, which is dangerous. Now they're dealing with Andrew Miller in the 45. is not even up to speed. Evans gets by. Bishop now has to deal with him getting up to speed. Now the next car that they, Evans is going to approach is Sky Commons. There's going to be quite a number of cars. 
lap down if we have a caution. There's 22 cars on the lead lap. Miller two laps down, as well as Shear in 30th and 31st. Now remember, those were the same drivers that came down pit road before that, or uh, when that caution came out. I guess the reason why, because they, they got black flag for coming on down to close pit road, and I think the NSCRA didn't like that they did another pit stop, so they had to do it on the green flag run to serve that penalty, and that really is going to hurt them. I'm not too sure. That, that could be the reasoning. I'm not too entirely sure, though. Andrew Miller, though, trying to get one of his laps back off Rob Evans in the 14. At least the good news is for the 45. Oh, wow! He nearly turned him! I was about to say he could at least get one lap back and hopefully a quick caution could come out, but wow! He was going to do more than that. He's going to take out the leader nearly and the points leader. Now Evans putting Sky Comets two laps down. The Las Vegas native struggling. And RJ Bishop, he don't care about that. He wants that lead. Here comes Bishop with a tied forward. Yet to win a race this season. Now here comes Bishop looking underneath for the lead. They know they cannot afford Rob Evans the win of this race. And now Seth Coles joined the fray. Here comes Miller trying to get one of his laps back. On the inside, three wide goes to sprint. PCS Dodge. The Kyle Petty colors. Now Seth Cole in the DuPont Chevrolet. The Jeff Gordon colors. Looking underneath Bishop for the lead. He's going to get it. Big separation. There's Miller. Now going to run away from Seth Cole and R.J. Bishop. Philip Goldberg all of a sudden in fourth. Where did he come from? As Bishop getting a run via by the high line. Now they caught up to Johnny Gardner, who's damaged and off the pace. Oh, look out. This is going to be incredibly hectic. Seth Cole's now going to get the lead because of that. And he said, well, you had your fun, Andrew. Now I'm going to have to put you back two laps down. And where did T.J. Handley come from? Up to fifth, now into third. Benny Watson, fourth. Dylan Young, fifth. I don't believe this. Nathan Orman in the top ten. He was involved in the second caution, and he's up in the top ten again. Rob Evans really got held up by Johnny Gardner. I look it up. That's the person that got him into that 14 ride. In a satellite ride there. That's not good team communication right there. All those drivers behind there, they're way off the pace. Then you got Skyler Dixon, Vince Almorego, Ben Crouch, Tristan Folks, Diego Yepe. Oh my God, look at this whole bunch of gaggle of cars. They're everywhere. James Qualls they encountered. Now TJ Hanley's got the lead. They're approaching Levi McIntyre next on the damaged cars as Folks and Crouch got around him. Jesse Turner trying to keep himself on the lead, or uh, at least one lap down. About 20 cars on the lead lap. Yeah, indeed. We're getting near the end of the race there. TJ Hanley out in front. Here comes Benny Watson for the lead. Here comes the 15. Watson versus Hanley. Now they've approached Levi McIntyre. More lap cars and damage cars coming up. And Watson going to take advantage. And this is not good because, oh, Hanley was in a bad pickle. But he's going to keep it together. Now McIntyre continuing to have have to hold up Hanley. And now Dylan Young. Both cars trying to get out of the out of that 99's way there. Young gonna finally get by. Hanley gonna be the big loser out of all that one. As we're at five laps to go when we cross the line this time by. Hanley just still stuck behind the 99. Wow, Sky Com is flying on by. Jack Halleck, Philip Goldberg. You see, too, the 99's also missing the right rear bumper. That car's just totally destroyed. Now Hanley finally getting by. He has got to be furious right there. Back up to the front, though. All about Benny Watson, but here comes Jack Mitchell looking for his first career cup win. Same for Watson. Here comes Miles. Here comes Kev Shears a lap down. Trent Dunn was also a lap down. Seth Cole's in fourth. Here comes Mitchell for the lead. Next slow car they're approaching is Vince Almorego. I wouldn't say he's slow. He's kind of. 
So the next slow car would be Nicholas Wade in the 66. If you really would count him as a slow car. Yeah, it kind of is. Mitchell, though, out in front. Now look at Kev Shear in the 17. He wants his lap back. He's not going to give any mercy. Same for Trent Dunham. This is going to allow Seth Cole to come on in. Also realize, too, caution comes out. Race is over. So these guys, they know that yellow comes out. It's whoever gets the line first. They're going to win. Coming to line. Two laps to go. Seth Cole's going to get the lead from Mitchell. Now he's going to want to put insurance. He's going to put Dunham and Shear on the high line. Now I'd be careful if I were Seth Cole. He's looking for his third win of the year. But look who's sneaking on that inside line. That's RJ Bishop. The next car in the lead lap on that inside line. It'll be the white flag when we cross the line. Here they come on Nicholas Wade in the 66. White flags for Seth Cole in the 24. Can he get his third win of the year? Or will Bishop, Miles, Miller, or somebody else take the win? Oh, even more Johnny Gardner in the 43. Cole's got to play smart right here. Oh, he's going to go low. That's going to really do it right there. Seth Cole coming off of turn four. I don't believe this. He's going to pick up his third win of the year here at Las Vegas. Can you believe that? I do not believe what Seth Cole has been able to do and has been silencing his critics when this season started. He said he was going to win a race. He took care of it. But no one expected him to win three races in the season. You have got to be kidding me. Congratulations to Seth Cole once again on a victory. I cannot believe he just pulled that off. That is unreal. Bishop will come away second, third. Benjamin Miles, fourth. Saying uh, Nathan Orm. I couldn't read because of the number right there. Jack Mitchell, fifth. Rob Evans, sixth. Benny Watson, seventh. Zachary Fitzwater, he's going to get the big points right there. He'll come away eighth. Ninth was Phil Goldberg. I cannot believe this. Charles Samper got a top ten. A top ten. That is surreal. So here is the rest of the finishing results. 15 cars finished on the lead lap. 16th on down finished a lap down or more. And then 33rd on down, or excuse me, 32nd on down out of the race after everything that transpired from Las Vegas. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts, subscribe, be a part of the NSRA and to this channel for all future content for more uploads as well. Until then, this is your boy, D. Young, signing off here at Las Vegas. We will see you for race number 13. Until then, points will be at the end of the video. Like always, thanks for watching. See you guys later. You've been watching a production of the NSRA Offline Racing at its best. Goodbye, everybody.